ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2. This is Littlefinger's Revenge. It is I, the Golden Joe Oblivion, and we are back with our man, Lord Piermount, Peter Littlefinger. Oh boy, he's 45. He is getting up there. He's getting, He's got about five years before he starts to gray in the hair. Before he grays in the hair. I'd like to see him sit on the Iron Throne before that? Before that, maybe. However, last episode, we took the North. We took the North War, Lady... Lady Sansa, she is now Lady, she's now Queen Sansa. Somehow she has become queen. I don't know how she became independent, but she has done it. She has somehow done it. Our wife, Sansa, now is Queen of Winterfell. We unfortunately are a mere lord, a mere lord of the Trident. Um, how exactly we're going to get independence? Uh, there are, are I mean, there, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a few things. You know, we could try for independence. We could also try to overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne, because I think Littlefinger would like to be king of all of Westeros, not just uh, the Trident, alongside his wife, who's Queen of the North. But we have taken the North, so they are now essentially full-out allied to us, which is great. So the Trident and the North together can... Uh, we can um, we can really do some damage. We can really do some damage. Um, the Vale, unfortunately, is currently outside of any... Uh, uh, outside of any kind of alliance, we haven't had any sons yet, so we can't really do anything with that. If we were smart, we would start betrothing our daughters to other people in the realm. The, the Stormlands, which is House Bowling now, or the Martells of Dorn. Martells of Dorn. Lady Ariane of Dorn. Interesting. The Iron Isles is currently being ruled by the Ironborn. We can see we actually have an Ironborn house. House Meyer rules uh, 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 the Reach. And uh, the Ironborn are ruled from Iron King Dagmer from the Iron Isles, a mere 11-year-old, who also controls the uh, the Seaguard area, which essentially is ours. Can we declare war on him? No, because we are not independent. We're a lord of Queen Marcella. I'm not sure. Is she fighting any wars? She's fighting a few independence wars, but nothing too seriously. She could eventually go to war with the Iron Isles. Offer to join war for independence? Yeah. If we get her to like us, it'll, it'll prevent her from, from jailing us. But Lord Edmure for the Trident. Ah, yeah, you sons of bitches. The Freys are still trying to get Edmure as uh, the lord of the Riverlands. I'm not sure why. Uh, they also still control the crossing, which is not good for us, because that's very, very dangerous with them having so much territory, especially Lady Walda, who's actually been in and out of our own dungeons. And we... Did we release her? I don't remember how we released her or anything. Hmm. But she is certainly not loyal to us, and she is conspiring. Conspiring with Lord Walder of the Red Fork. So the phrase are... Eh... Well, I, you know, first things first, Lady Sansa already has a rebellion. She already has a rebellion, and we need, we need, we need to make sure she lives. She's leading troops in Silver Reed, so she's down here. We cannot let her fall. So we have mustered our armies. They are marching towards the Twins, the Crossing. And we will march, and we will march to aid Lady Sansa, because we cannot let Queen Sansa fall. She will not fall. Lord Peter Baelish will see to that. I wonder if we couldn't attempt to imprison Lord Paramount. Peter Littlefinger has inherited the High Lordship of Acorns Ridge. All right. Uh, so we've got some... This is the war I'm worried about. Lord Baron of Winterfell. Are we not already plotting to uh, kidnap him? I believe. I believe we are. Does anyone... Will anyone join us? He is the regent. He really likes us, though. He won't do it because... The opinion of Lord Baron is is really, really high. Lord Baron's opinion of Ellard. Ellard's opinion of Lord Baron. Entrusted Ward. Plus 20, so he must have done that twice. Bodyguard. Master at Arms. We're swaying him, though. We're trying to get Ellard on our side. If we can, he is the regent. It would not be it would not be difficult for him to help us in. He will, oh, okay, so we've given him money. We're trying to we're trying to get him to like us. Who are we spying on? Stop spying. Who are we spying on? I have forgotten who we're spying on. Are we spying on Ellard? I'm not sure. Okay, uh, finally an opportunity to abduct Lord Baron of Winterfell has arisen. One of the Lord's personal guard has proven amenable to bribery, allowing for the opportunity to take him while he sleeps. Shall I tell my co-conspirators to begin their preparations? Um, 39% uh, chance it'll fail. 37% chance it succeeds. I really don't want more dishonor. I really don't. 
It's too, it's too risky. We need more support. We need more support. Lord Kevin of the West Ends is a favor of Master Oswin um, of Upstream to help him force him to join factions. And Kevin is a crown loyalist. Good man. Good man. Excellent. I should keep the phrase in line for, for now. For now. I have a feeling we can actually beat this guy in open combat. We don't necessarily need to kidnap him. We also need to take something. Let's see, he's got the Umbers, the Karstarks, the Fraser on his... Well, I mean, I say the Fraser. The Fraser now rule the Dreadfort. Uh, who, what house is this? Of Arendelle, Deep Down, Sea Dragon Point, Hornwood, Widow's Watch. Okay. Oh, what is this? It's for request support. Who is this? Uh, Master of Coin of Rook's Rest, Master of Horse for the Iron Throne. Please support me by voting on the council. If you agree, he will owe us a favor. I decline. I do not want favors from you. I don't even know you. I'm not having much luck spying on Wendell. Why are we sp spying on Wendell? At court in Blackpool. Who is this? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's stop spying on him. Stop spying. Which is kind of stupid, because I just now did that twice. <laughs> that was redundant. That was redundant. Apologies. Let's see here. Who else can we spy on that would aid us? Aid us in this endeavor. Who is the... You know what we can do? Let's spy on Lady Walda. She is most certainly doing horrible things. And we need her to end. We need, a, we need House Frey to no longer be in power. We will... I mean, if we can get something on her... If we can get something on her, we can imprison her because we, we're am amassing all of our men to the twins under the guise of going to war for the north. And we could use that to, uh, well, I mean, if she rebels, we're standing literally outside of her castle. Queen Marcella of the Iron Throne is usurped the title, High Lordship of the King's Woods. Okay. All right. That's fine. But we, 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 we do need to get a move on here because um, Lord Baron of Winterfell. Okay. Yes, we need to take something from here to take away the uh, little advantage he's gaining from merely controlling territory. But we need to consolidate our forces. Despite now being his enemy in war, I still feel as if I can try reaching out to Ellard in some way. Let us meet under an armistice. I honor the bravery of your troops. I think we tried to meet him with an armistice before, and he said he didn't trust us, which is absolutely reasonable, because the last time we met under an armistice, we kidnapped somebody. So that makes sense. Let's honor the bravery of his troops. Sadly, Ellert ignored my flattering message regarding the bravery of his troops and skill of his commanders in battle. Perhaps he did not believe me to be truthful. What a pity. Ah, he is, he is proving quite resilient to flattery. Unfortunate. He is a northerner, after all. All right, armies are consolidated. We've got Maris, Asher, and Lothar the Apple Eater. He is the Apple Eater. Dangerous man, the Apple Eater is. All right, let's march up here to the place that'd be the easiest to take over. King's course is looking relatively open. Castle Kerwin even more so. Winterfell will be very difficult to take. Dawn Forest has only 400 men protecting it. Blah. We know our target. Move to the White Knife. Um, Dawn Forest, you have a river that flows between Winterfell, Castle Kerwin, King's course. King's Course, Castle Kerwin, Winterfell, but we're going to the White Knife. We're crossing the river a little bit further down south so that they don't, um, where are they moving to? Ethering? Up this way. Where is Sansa? Where is Sansa? Ruler personally leading his troops. How is that possible? He's a child. He can't be. If we take Dawn Forest, he is, he should be in Dawn Forest. Reigning in Gun Castle, Dawn Forest. Yeah. So he'll be easy to take over. Where is Sansa? What is this war here? That's already over. Where is my wife? Where is our queen? Leading troops in the Wolf's Woods. So she's here. God, I wish, I really wish she wouldn't be leading her own armies here. Really wish she wouldn't be endangering herself, but um, she should be happy to know that our armies are now marching north. And we are moving for the heart of the enemy. Finally an opportunity to abduct him. No, that is too risky. Let us not do it right now. Um, okay, and it seems she is trying to take King's course. Um, they have 5,000 men, 2,000, 3,000, Northman Liberation Revolt. I'm not having much luck spying on her. Perhaps I should focus my... No, no, I'm sure she's up to something. She's tyrannical. She's afraid. She is doing something awful. I guarantee it. Uh, I like to express my consternation to the fact that Lady Maris enjoys command. I know she's, she's not... I mean, she's not an actual lord, but she is a very good commander, Kevin. 
I know just how to smooth this over. Yes, we'll do that. We will smooth this over. All right, Queen Marcella's taking stuff from her, her, her vassals. Uh, no, no, I don't want to kidnap him. Maybe we should stop this because I don't intend to actually kidnap him this way. And, and those little messages I'm getting are very, very annoying. Convert to Legion's culture. I think not. I think not. You know what? Maybe we should convert. Maybe we should convert to Riverlanders. Because I don't really see us having any... Because we are a Veilman. We're a Veilman. I don't really see us being able to take over the Veil. I just don't see it. And he doesn't like us because... A different culture? Different culture. No, we're, we're still Andals, though. We're still Andals. Let's see. He doesn't like us because we're ruthless, which is fair. We're trying to fix that. Oh, we're not trying to fix Ruthless. We're dishonorable. He's trying, we're trying to fix that. Short reign, female heir. Too many held high lordships. Oh, we have too many high lordships, do we? Oh, yes, we recently just got one. Lordship of Pink Maiden, which I think I'm going to hold on to. Because that, um, that fits well into our... It's not demean. It's domain. Believe it or not. It's not spelt that way, but it is domain. Why? Because it has some kind of French origin or something. But we will hold on to Pink Maiden. Uh, Heron Hall. High Lordship of Acorns Ridge. High Lordship of the Trident. Acorns Ridge. Well, Stony Sept. We own Pink Maiden. That's fine. And Castlewood. Stony Sept. House Grey. All right. And House Harlton. I'm not familiar with House Harlton. Was executed on the order of Lord Paramount Hosta of the Trident. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it to Lady Marianne of Castlewood of House Harlton. Why? Because she is more loyal to us than the bastard in Stony Sept. So we will give it to Lady Marianne, and she will love us for it. That is the High Lordship of Acorns Ridge. Do it. Yes, there we go. 85. Excellent. So now we have another one. It is the High Lordship of the Trident. Uh, we cannot give it to the Red Fork because it belongs to a fray. But we could give it to House Tully. Oh, there are Tullys after all. Oh, they are in the Blue Fork. We could also give it to House Viprin. Uh, Lord Lucius of Stilfern. Stilfen, okay. And he's a hunchback. A hunchback frog person. Or Tullys. Or Frey. So we're not going to give it to Frey's under any circumstances. I'm very hesitant to give the Tullys more power. I think I'm going to give it to Lord Lucius. He will be the High Lordship of the Trident. Excellent. The Hunchback, however, he is very happy with us now. Uh, he may not... Well, I mean, it'll stay in House Viprin. That's all that matters. So we should not be taking any kind of disposition penalty now, because we have too many high lordships. But we do have more lordships. We own Harrenhal and Pink Maiden. Excellent. I would love to get uh, the Veil. The Veil is actually going to go back to the Queen if Lady Paramount Alessa dies. Is she the last Aaron? No, apparently not. Somehow she's not. Um, I don't think we can actually get the Veil. We could maybe get a claim on the Eerie, though. But we're too busy trying to repair our, um, our reputation. So let's not worry about that. Let's worry about getting our armies to the White Knife. Um, the enemy actually does outnumber... Uh, though the, the uh, 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 Lady Sa Queen Sansa's forces, though, she has 5,000. They are now approaching 7,000 with another 2,000 on the way. So really only we could. My spying on Lady Walda of the Crossing has revealed her complicity in a shadowy plot to rescue Lord Manfred Charlton from Lord Hugo's captivity. Knowledge is power. And we can use that, uh, that knowledge to imprison her again. I'd like to wait till the war is over. I would like to wait till the war is over, and we we need to get our asses to Dawn Forest ASAPP. Let's go ASAP, quickly now. Now move on to Dawn Forest. They will not. They will probably make a move against the uh, Winterfell forces. Not the Winterfell forces. The North forces under Queen Sansa. Oh, nice. And uh, more tax. More taxes. Excellent. And we will we will take uh, Dawn Forest in today's assault. Yes. My lord, I am pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners from our successful siege of Glen Castle. I hereby turn them over to you for your judgment, Lady Maris. Well, you know, we struck at the heart of the beast. You see, this is why you don't rebel if you're a child, because your child cannot lead armies. So you are stuck wherever you have your castle. And if you're rebelling as a child from a castle that doesn't have a very high garrison, it, it allows a very large army to walk and take it over and take the leader of the rebellion into the dungeon. Take them all into house arrest. Mm, yes, this would be worthy. 
All right, we we now uh, we can't do anything with him right now because it's technically not our war. However, it will allow Sansa to pretty much enforce her demands. Can we um transfer prisoners? No, we can't. Unfortunate. I wish the player could do that. Baron, transfer prisoner. Nope, we can force marriage, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So we essentially have to keep we have to, we just have to wait now. We have to wait for Sansa to send demands. Can we press advantage? can. They will arrive in Winterfell. Let them. Let them. We will hold on to the Dawn Forest. The war against the tyranny of Queen Sansa of the North has ended. Queen Sansa of the North has won. Excellent. Your acquaintance, Lord Baron Mullen, has been captured by Queen Sansa of the North and taken to East Melt as a prisoner. Excellent. We didn't need him. Uh, I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from conspiring. Conspiring, she is. We will do nothing for now. And we will march this force, force down to the to the crossing. And uh, we will demand Lady Walda come before Lord Peter Baelish in irons. And if she wants to rebel, then she can deal with an army at her doorstep. Ellard has passed away. I can only hope he remembered me fondly in his last moments. Uh, well, he most likely didn't. Died in the dungeons of Lord Paramount Peter. Oh my god. <laughs> why would you? Oh, that's so terrible. Peter, why would he think nice, kindly of you? He was in your dungeons. All right, is there anyone else we can get rid of? Let's let's have this woman pay for her way out. Shut the gates. Demand abolition of the monarchy. How does my wife feel about us now? She probably really likes us. Lover, friend, mentor. Did we? I, I don't remember seducing her. Pressed my claim. Yes, we did. Sent gift. Pressed my claim. Mentor, friend, lover, personal diplomacy. And I mean, we did help you in your war. Ah, uh, apparently that doesn't matter though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But we are formal allies. We are formal allies. Offer to join war. You were at war now defending against Magnar Thor Tor Tormod in War of Carhold Independence. All right. And you're defending, defending against King Torg the Tall and King Torg's invasion of the Night's Watch. I will offer to join the war. All help will be appreciated. We can help her defending against the wall, uh, because we said no to that. But we can aid in this war for independence, which means move on Carhold. That's what we'll do. I will aid uh, 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 Sansa in all her endeavors. Why? Because the North and the Trident must work together. We must be as one. Is she really independent? How? How is she independent? Can we swear fealty? No, because um, we, we are not independent ourselves. We belong to the Iron Throne, but for some reason, Queen Sansa has remained independent. How did she do that? Unbelievable. How did she do that? Dear husband, peace be with you. I gladly accept your offer. Let our enemies tremble, and they shall. They shall. How many men do they have? 700? That fool. What a fool. What is this? Invite to plot. We'd like to back up to kill Sir Aegon. How dare you? You would dare. Well, they want to kill Sir Aegon because Aegon has a claim on the Iron Throne, which, um... Your incompetent castle and has let a group of smugglers into the county of Pink Maiden. Apparently thought they were merchants. What a fool. Indeed, he has failed. Kevin, you have failed us. But that's okay. We need him to get us more taxes and stuff. Now, what kind of garrison do you have here? Relatively small. Carhold has a thousand. Sansa really doesn't need our help here. My spying... Uh, you would dare. Lady Walder, the crossing has revealed her complicity in a shadowy plot to kill Lord Paramount Peter Littlefinger. Knowledge is power. Indeed it is. Bring her to my dungeons at once. Excellent. The second revolt against the rule of Lord Peter Littlefinger has ended. Yes. Surely we can take her title. What? What? Humiliate her. Stop spying on her. Yes, that would be useless. Let us spy on her husband, uh, Lord Walda. Lord Walda. She escaped from our dungeons last time because we put her in house arrest. That's why. I remember now. I wonder what secrets he is hiding. Yep. Uh, suitable. No, let, let her rot. Let her stay in the dungeons. Uh, okay. So that faction is, is gone. Sir Edric for the Iron Throne. Hmm. They have a lot of support. Crown loyalists. You would dare. You would dare. All right, let's end this war of rebellion in the north. Uh, 14 days. So, Walder Frey wants to kill somebody. All right. Uh, well, we're taking... Uh, not a lot of attrition. Not a lot, but some. 
Lord Walder the Black has declared Red Fork War for Sir Huster's claim on the Trident. Okay. It's odd. What is this? Defending against Lord Walder the Black. Can I offer to join your war? No. We cannot join Vassal's Wars. Alright. Whatever. Ah, my spying on Lord Walder of the Red Fork has revealed his complicity in a shadowy plot to kill Sir Edwin Frey. Knowledge is power. Send him to my dungeon. Oh, we can't. Command to end war. Uh, due to the level of realm authority and the trident, this command will be legally binding. This means you have the power to brand Lord Walder Frey a traitor. Do it. My lord, I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just, and as such, you have no right to command me to s stand down. What are you doing exactly? Red Fork War for Sir Hoster's claim on the Trident. He's trying to give the Trident to the Tullys. Let's see, have him arrested for treason. Excellent. House Frey has wound up in the dungeons. How did he marry another Frey? I oh, must be of distant relations or something. Excellent. They are both in our dungeons. Can I revoke your title now? Exile prisoner. Command to end war. Do it. Ah, uh, of course. Of course! But I cannot revoke any titles. Is he somehow independent? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go to Carhold. Go to Carhold and take it. And end this little, little war. Uh, no, your phrase can stay where you are. You will indeed! You will stay! For the good of the Trident, you will stay- the Riverlands, I should I should say. The Trident is but a small area of land within the Riverlands as a whole. Lord Paramount Peter, after listening to the advice of a group of my bannermen, led by Lady Meredith Crane of Red Lake, I hereby relinquish my position as Lord Paramount of the Reach in favor of Lord Reaver Randall Tarly. Hmm. Tarly has taken over the Reach now. It is befitting. It is befitting. Lord Paramount, uh, uh, Randall of the Reach. Randall Tarly. Where's Samuel Tarly? He's on. He's at the wall. He's at the wall. Tally Tarla, tar, no Tala Tarly was killed in personal combat, amidst battle by Iron King Euron the Third, Lord Dickon of Maidenpool. That's gonorrhea. That's not good. I would love to see the Reach uh, uh, freed from the Ironborn. Ironborn scum, the scum that they are. All right, we cannot order because we're not leading the siege. I've collected ample tax revenue. All right, well, this war for Carhold will end in time. And we are building quite a war chest. Let's see. Oh, well, oh, oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to click to click that. Let's see. Attacking Lady Alisane of the Golden Tooth in the Iron Throne Golden Tooth Dejure War over the Golden Tooth. She's trying to bring Golden Tooth back into the Iron Throne. Fair enough. Who rules? Uh, Oh, shit. Cersei is defending against Lord Melwyn Tarth in Sarsfield's War for Lord Kevin's claim of the Westerlands. I think... Um, was it, was it Douglas Soares who, I'm not sure, mentioned that Cersei's rule of the West would inevitably end in rebellion? He was right. Turns out he was right. They want Kevin to rule the West, not Cersei. Cersei Lannister. She's been excommunicated. Hmm, indeed. Um, I'm not sure if we can get anyone to aid us in overthrowing the monarchy. Actually, you know what we could do? We can buy people. We can buy people's loyalty. Request a loan. Buy a favor. We can't because they're a child. Okay. Stormlands. We could buy a favor. Yeah. Which means money is welcome. He it loves Queen Marcella because vassal transfer granted a high lordship. Granted a lordship. Chosen inheritor. Excellent. Uh, she has 62,000 men. She has no allies. She has not aggression packs. I think what we could do, if we did want to rebel, we can do nothing with the Vale at the moment, unfortunately. We could buy the support of Lord Paramount Harlan, who would give us 8,000 men. We could also buy the support of Shirley. No! No, because he hates us. But he also hates Queen Marcella. We could schmooze up to Prince Doran the Wise. Let's do it. Because he has 20,000 men. That would leave uh, Queen Marcella with 40,000, assuming the Vale comes to support her, which she very well might, because she loves Queen Marcella. Um, so the Vale will most likely fight for the Iron Throne. We would be rebelling with almost 20,000 men. 
uh, Queen, Do uh, Queen, <laughs> Prince Doran would join us eventually when he likes us, which would bring another 20,000 men under, under our control. So that would leave Queen Marcella with, uh, uh maybe 9,000 men in the veil. Vale. Um, we could buy the support of the Stormlands, and we can buy the support of House Martell, which would leave Queen Marcella, let's see, so we take 62,000, and this is really rough math, this is really rough, rough math, but we, uh, we, we subtract, we subtract 20,000 for Dorn, Almost another twenty thousand for uh, the Riverlands. Uh, eight to nine thousand for the Stormlands. So that's almost fifty thousand, which would leave her with maybe ten, ten ish thousand. Well, okay. So, so I mean, but that would that would be split between Queen Marcella and the Vale. So we get, we get the we get Doran to like us, and then we buy a favor from him. We can buy a favor from. Uh, who is this asshole here? Lord, Par Lord Paramount Har Harleton, and he will join us, even though he really, really likes Queen, Queen Marcella. We could buy a favor, force him to join our faction, overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne. Members seek to force uh, Queen Marcella to abolish the monarchy and abdicate in favor of a new republic or oligarchy led by Lord Paramount Peter Baelish of the Trident. When sufficiently powerful, a and the thing is, is that it would be a republic, so we would be we would be having elections. But I think we can change the laws of the Iron Throne if we can rule for X amount of years. Um, but it would be a republic. Um, there's, I mean, there is no way we can really plot to give... Because we don't have a claim on the Iron Throne. De all we can do is depose her. Which would give... Um, advocate in, in favor of her heir. It would give Kevin lordship of the Iron Throne. Or we overthrow the monarchy, which we're already trying to do. Or we try to get our own independence. So, if we want to get Peter on the Iron Throne, the quickest way to do that is to overthrow the monarchy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be begin plotting. Is we're going to buy the loyalty of Lord Paramount Harlan. And tis but the beginning. Tis the beginning. And then we will have Sansa marching south as well. Excellent. Cannot lead the assault here. I'm a bit concerned about my wife Sansa. Eating so much as she does might not be good for her health. Just today, just today, I saw her struggling simply to get on her horse. The beast didn't look too well after the ride either. She, she's, she's dieting though, right? I will tell her to eat less. Actually, she could use a bit more meat on her bones. Tell Sansa to keep eating as much as she likes. I don't think this is any of my business. She's on a hard diet. She's trying to get back in shape. Let's see. This is expire in two years. Let's leave it leave it be for now. Leave that be for right now. Uh, can we lead the invasion now? No. To the brilliant wit Peter, blessings upon your house. I graciously, graciously accept your gift and remember your good intentions in the future. Excellent. So he owes us a favor. Can we make him join our faction? Ask to join plot. Ask to join faction. Spend a favor to force Blood Paramount Harlan to join your faction. Now, would that be something worthwhile to do right now? Or do we want to have him join later? Because if we have him join our faction right now, Queen Marcella can always use her Spy Master to get him to leave factions. But if we don't spend the favor now, when he's actually Lord Paramount, he might get usurped, or he might die. And then his heir, Lady Bionel of the Stormlands, will, perhaps we should have been waiting, we should have waited off in buying, buying his favor. Shit. Well, that's one piece. If we can get Doran to accept a favor from us, to, to buy a favor... God, we'll have to pay 250? What if we send him a gift right now of 83 gold? Hmm. I mean, we also need to have money to raise our armies. If we don't have money to raise our armies, Lord Walder has ended up in prison, so there's no point in spying on him anymore. True that. Let us spy on the queen. We will undermine her rule. We will undermine her rule by spying on her. All right, and we need to save up our monies. Excellent, war has ended. Get our men down here. Get our men down to the crossing immediately. They are draining our treasury. Has ended, I wonder if we can make our own bank. Oh, no we can't because we're not, we're not doing the uh, business focus. We're doing the intrigue. Your acquaintance has been imprisoned. Excellent. So let's get our armies out of the north. And we're trying to sway Doran Martell. 
All right, and I'm going to have to end this episode here. Got to keep it strictly at 30 minutes because, uh, well, you know, I've got time constraints and all that. But we are beginning to craft. So we've saved the north again, and, or well, for the first time, and we have begun the scheme to depose Queen Marcella and put and create a new republic or oligarchy with Lord Peter Baelish. So he will be ruling the Iron Throne, if only temporary, unless we can uh, maintain control and then eventually change rulership back to a, a hereditary despotic kingdom. But that will have to be in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2 Littlefinger's Revenge. I have been the Golden Joblivian, and until next time, I will see you all later.